Mm. Good day, guys. I'll be showing you guys how to turn off Windows Defender or real time security. So we just go straight. Either you click on your Windows or Start button and search for DF DF or you type security. Or you assess it through the settings. So either way works for you. So you come to privacy and security and you click on it. Windows security provide. This is actually on Windows 11. You click Windows open Windows security. Open it. Open Windows security. Then the Windows security thing. Turning off the meter uh, Sorry, turning off the return protection on Windows and security. It's just as simple as clicking this shield icon. Let's make this bigger. Virus and protection or over here. You click on this, then scroll down to manage virus and threat set protection settings. Then click on manage settings. Then this is the real-time protection. It locates this right this stops software from installing that something you want to install something to be cropped in an error. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say for instance, um, there is a program I want to install, let's say, which contains, um, it sees it as a virus, but it just is it that. Let's say for instance, um, we pick um, something like this. Let's say I want to run this watch what happens. What are on? This watch will notice it's not off. No. So when I run the PC, it's showing this telling you that it can't execute because of this real time protection is on. So if I turn it off, it shows a prompt. I say yes. Then if I go back, watch what happens. So the activator will bounce. So that's what I'm trying to say. So you just click on this to turn off with a protection. And if you tell that you're leaving your device vulnerable, but you can do that after installing what you're installing. And at the end, then you can now go back to turn it off. So that's how you turn off a return protection and turn it off. So you just click on it to, to turn it on. And it turns on. And then, so these are the two ways you can turn off and turn on your return protection so thanks for watching